हेलो एवरीवन माय सेल्फ प्रणय सरकार एंड यू आर वाचिंग केम प्रो यूट्यूब चैनल प्लीज वॉच द कंप्लीट वीडियो एंड डोंट स्किप आई प्रॉमिस यू विल गेट एक्स्ट्रा एंड लर्न द टॉपिक लाइक नेवर बिफोर टुडे आवर टॉपिक इज नंबर ऑफ माइक्रोस्टेट्स टेन लेट्स स्टार्ट in this video we are going to discuss how we can calculate the number of microstates the questions of finding the number of microstates are very important for net gate and gate and jam examination purpose okay and very important topic so there are five types of way for finding the number of microstates so we can find the microstates the number of microstates by using the direct configuration or the mixed configuration like the direct configuration like the d2 or the p2 like this and the mixed configuration like ns1 np1 okay or p1 d1 okay like this and the spectroscopic term by using spectroscopic term and by using the term symbol and finally by using the mullikan symbols okay so for this spectroscopic term and the term symbols so we have to know that what is spectroscopic term and what is term symbol when it is given like this 2s plus 1 l then it is the it is the spectroscopic term but when the j value is given that is 2s plus 1 l j okay this is the term symbol okay this is term symbol but this is only term so we have to remember these two points okay this is term and this is term symbol when the j value is given when the j value is given it is called term symbol but when the j value is not given then it is called spectroscopic term so firstly we have to calculate by using the direct configuration okay so for this we will go through a formula that is the number of microstates microstates k okay, will be equal to the n factorial by r factorial into n minus r factorial okay so here the capital n is the total number of electron can occupy the given orbital and r is the number of electron in the given configuration okay given configuration so if we take if we take the p2 that means the p can occupy or p can have the total number of 6 electrons that that means this 6 is the capital n but here 2 is given in the p so the small r equal to 2 okay let's check some example first one the p2 okay so the numbers number of microstates will be 6 factorial by 2 factorial into 6 minus 2 factorial okay 6 minus 2 factorial so it will be the 6 factorial by 2 factorial or we can just write only 2 into 4 factorial then we can write like this 6 into 5 into 4 factorial by 2 into 4 factorial then it will be cancel out and the answer will be 15 okay so p2 has 15 microstates the next one is d1 so total number of electron can occupy the d is 10 that means 10 factorial by 1 factorial into 10 minus 1 factorial then we can write like this 10 into 9 factorial by 1 into 9 factorial so the number of microstates will be 10 for d2 it will be 10 factorial by 2 factorial into 10 minus 2 factorial then we can write like this 10 into 9 into 8 factorial by 2 into 8 factorial okay so we can cancel out the 8 factorial both 
10 the answer will be 45 so like this we can calculate the numbers number of microstates by using the configuration okay this is the direct configuration now let's check the number of microstates for the mixed configuration so here we can have like this n s1 n p1 so we can forget about this n so we can write this like s1 p1 for this type of mixed configuration we will separately calculate the for the s1 and the p1 like the previous like the previous okay and we will multiply the both number of microstates so for s1 it will be 2 factorial by 1 factorial into 2 minus 1 factorial okay and we will multiply it with the number of microstates for p1 that is 6 factorial by 1 factorial into 6 minus 1 factorial then it will be 2 by 1 into it will be 6 into 5 factorial by 1 into 5 factorial okay so we can cancel out the both 5 factorial then the number of microstates will be 12 okay will be 12 for ns1 np1 okay it will be 12 number of microstates then we can have like this 3d1 4p1 so we can just neglect this 3 and this this 4 so we can write like this t1 into p1 okay so for d1 it will be 10 factorial by 1 factorial into 9 factorial into 6 factorial by 1 factorial into 5 factorial okay so it will be like this 10 into 9 factorial by 1 into 9 factorial into 6 into 5 factorial by 1 into 5 factorial so this 5 factorials and this 9 factorials will be cancelled out then the number of microstates will be 60 okay so the next one is 2p1 and 3p1 okay so for this we can write p1 p1 okay so we can just have that 6 factorial into 1 factorial into 5 factorial and this will be same 6 factorial by 1 factorial into 5 factorial so the answer will be 36 okay so the next one is for spectroscopic term okay so for this the general formula will be the general formula will be 2s plus 1 into 2l plus 1 so the spectroscopic term is like 2s plus 1 l this is the multiplicity multiplicity and this is the total azimuthal quantum number so for a given for a given spectroscopic term we already have the 2s plus 1 value it will be given in the spectroscopic term so we have to calculate the 2l plus 1 for the term and then we will multiply the 2l plus 1 value with the given 2s plus 1 value so for the l value we already know this when l value is 0 then it is s for 1 it is p for 2 it is d and for 3 it is f and so on so if spectroscopic term is given like 3f okay 3f then for this 2s plus 1 is given 3 and we have to calculate the 2l plus 1 so for f for f the l value is 3 so 2l plus 1 will be 2 into 3 plus 1 that is 7 so the number of microstates will be 3 into 7 that is 21 very easy next example is for 3p so for 3p we can just write the 2s plus 1 into 2l plus 1 value that is for given 3p we can write 2s plus 1 equal to 3 into l value for p is 1 so it will be 3 into 3 that is 9 microstates for 4f it will be like this so for 2s plus 1 value it is 4 and for f the l value will be the 3 so 2 into 3 plus 1 and it will be 4 into 7 that is it will be 28 microstates now the next one is by using the term symbol so for that we can just calculate by using the j value the j value 
or the for the microstates for the microstates the formula is like 2j plus 1 okay and the mic and the term symbol like this 2s plus 1 l j okay so we have to look upon this this value in the given term symbol and we can use the formula 2j plus 1 and we can easily calculate the number of microstates so for example if we have 3f 5 by 2 okay so the microstates will be number of microstates will be so here this 5 by 2 is the is the j value okay so the number of microstates will be 2 into 5 by 2 plus 1 then 2 2 will be cancelled out and we can have six microstates very easy and the next example is for 3p2 so if 3p2 is given then this is the j value okay this is the j value so the number of microstates the number of microstates will be 2 into j plus 1 so it will be 2 into 2 plus 1 and it is 5 microstates and if mulligan symbols are given in the question so how can we calculate the number of microstates for the mulligan symbols so for this we can use this formula that is microstates equal to the multiplicity of the mulligan symbol into the dimension of the mulligan symbol if a mulligan symbol is given like 6a1g okay so for this this 6 is the multiplicity okay and we can have the dimension from this a okay from this a we can have the dimension so if if a is given then the dimension will be 1 for e it will be 2 and for t it will be 3 okay so for this for this given term symbol 6a1g we can have the microstates the microstates equal to 6 that is the multiplicity into 1 that will be 6 okay so the next example is 3 t1g so for this the multiplicity will be 3 and for the t the dimension is 3 so the number of microstates is 9 okay so we can have 9 microstates and if we have 3 t2g so for this also it will be 9 because the multiplicity is 3 and for t the dimension is 3 so we can have the 9 microstates if it is given like 2eg then the microstates will be 2 for the multiplicity and for e for e the dimension will be 2 so 4 microstates okay very easy thanks for watching the complete video if you really enjoyed please like the video and subscribe the channel to motivate me and hit the bell icon to get all the notifications and if you have any suggestion or query please comment down below